Okay. It's a wonderful day. Oh, really? Yes. Why a wonderful day? <clears throat> because because I, um, it's a wonderful time. Because it's sunny, sunny day. Because it's sunny? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm kidding. Yes, it's a sunny day. Uh, those days were, those previous days uh, had been kind of cloudy, don't you think? And it was raining. A little. Hi. Good afternoon. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. Who is that? Who... I am Leticia. Just to see if, if I... Yeah. Yeah. Leticia. Perez Castellanos, Barber correct? Barberena. Barberena. Oh, Leticia Barberena Cabrera. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Are you taking the attendance, teacher? Yes, I'm taking the attendance. I'm sorry. I'm Elizabeth de Leon. No, the thing is, I, I just uh, see who is already in the meeting, and they already have the attendance. So don't worry, you were already contemplated. Okay, thank you. How was yeah, your you weekend, teacher? My weekend... I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I think I think it was fun. Yeah. Um basically homework, um servicio, work. Yeah. <laughs> That's my okay. but how how was your weekend? We're gonna start uh, in a few moments. Just chatting right now, okay? How was your weekend? What did you do? Um, I I I stay in my house with my husband. Um, we making many things in in our house. I really like. Mm. Yes. Como arreglos. Let's... Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. And together, you said you did it together? Yes, together. We okay. enjoy to, uh, to be together. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think it, it's a nice way to spend time as a couple. Yeah, tell me. Sorry, teacher. I'm Maria Isabel Dueñas. Did you receive my homework? Let me see. Because, yes, uh, I saw that some of you already sent it. Please let me know if you can see my screen, okay? Uh, not right now, but... Okay, teacher. It's okay. Can you see it? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let me see. So I have Carmen Luz. Yes. Elizabeth Leon. Uh, yes. Homework. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Excuse, me. excuse me, teacher. Uh, I didn't know that we uh, should send you uh, where. It's okay to send it in my personal number, but we're going to actually dive into the homework uh, for the first part of the class. Okay. So that 
well the the topic is clear i know that some well i know that the the previous class was kind of confusing let's say uh, do you think that it was confusing or you think you like, that the topic was kind of um easy piece a little confusing. what do you think a little okay more or less <laughs> so okay yeah right it's kind of tricky but i mean nothing impossible so we're gonna dive into it right now um just let me see who else have joined you can see maria elizabeth parra okay good Leticia Barberena. present elizabeth parra present. thank you and ramon really nice thank you so good all right, so this was homework. Do you remember? Yes. Oh. Very frustrated. Very what? Very what? I'm sorry? Frustrated. <laughs> frustrated. Hmm. Why? Okay, let's see. Okay. So, sure. So we have, like, choose the correct ending for each verb and fill in the gaps. The first one is, it's very, and then very. we have like the, the blank, to then, know that the contract has been signed. So I think we already um, we already did this one, correct? Which one was it? The correct answer. Satisfying. 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 Good. So it was satisfying. Why? Satisfying. Who can tell me why it was satisfying? ING. Because is it is a, a contract. Uh, okay. It's not a feeling, you know? No, because it's a it's feeling. A thing. It's, it's a, a thing. thing. It's a feeling. Uh, yes, but uh, talks about uh, a thing that is the contract. Okay, so think about this. Um, when it ends in ed, we are describing how the subject or the person who is saying so is feeling. Yes. But when we use ing, it's about how things, it's things, that thing making feel the person or who is saying. Okay, so we're talking about the idea that the contract was signed or has been signed, and that idea is satisfying. 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 So the idea is satisfying, but we feel satisfied. Satisfied. There you go. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. So, number two, it rained all Saturday, so we couldn't go out and we were. Board. 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 That's correct. So basically, just the main subject here, we are talking about we. We. Yes. So we were, so we felt bored. Yes. Now, the idea that the, that it rained all Saturday, that's Bruce boring. For it. Okay. That's boring, okay. yes. With I and number two. Number two. Number two is bored, as it says. But if you think okay. about the idea that it rained, that was what is making you feel bored, that's boring. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I hope this is not that redundant. I'm sorry if it is, but it's for you to, to get clear, okay? So yeah, I already revealed number three. I'm sorry. So okay. it's useless making her study more. It's so frustrating. Frustrating. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we can feel frustrated about, I don't know, our daughter or sister not feel not studying enough. Uh -huh. 
but we feel that way and it, then it is frustrated we feel frustrated but the idea that her or she is not stunning that's frustrating because that's the cause it's also it has to do with cause and consequence sometimes so i'm gonna write something in the chat if you can take a look okay is termination AD? Yes. yes. For this one, yes. yes. Number three? Number three, that's correct. Price team. Frustrating. Dating. Frustrating. ING. Just like this. In a, in a yes. See, frustrating. Yeah, so you can also think about that. So maybe the cause. What is causing us to feel like that is with ing and the consequence is how we feel and then it's ed yes so okay. teacher number... determination determination is ing for number three yes for number three okay yes. thank it's you the ending it's not the termination it's the ending okay in this case, it's termination. Course, the ending. Ending. No. It, it, it will be better ending. if you can say ending. All right. So the ending of the word. There you go. So number four, a new Miss Universe is a stunning, 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 beauty. Okay, let's see. There you go, stunning. Okay, and you so, have to double the N. That's correct, yes. And of course, so if the Miss Universe is stunning, then how do we feel when we so look at her? Stunned. Stunned, yes. Teacher, can you explain me the word stunning, the meaning, please? Totally, sure. So stunned is like astonished. I know that astonished is a kind of also complicated word. Not complicated, but it's not that common. Good. So it's more like, mm, it's not surprised, but maybe shocked. Yeah. So maybe uh, no, when... when I yeah, thought it's a people who who made something in the pictures, you know? Stun. Okay. Not in this case. Okay, so ah, if we are talking okay. about this, it's more like shocked. Oh. Um, so maybe I'm gonna switch a little bit. Pasa que vemos a alguien, no sé, muy guapo, muy lindo, muy linda. Nos quedamos en shock. Es como impactante. Impresionante, impactante. There you go. So stunt is more like that. So we, we that's how we feel. We, we feel shocked. We feel impactados. It says in, in Spanish, it says something like aturdido. Uh -huh. There you go. That, that's so much impact and cause so much, much impact on you. But the stunning yes. movie, same thing, the same meaning? When people make something in in an instant of the of the actor. Oh yeah, so that's more like a stunt with the T by the end. But it's not the same. So maybe we can uh, yeah, we can stick with the meaning of shocked or surprised. Oh. Um yeah. That will be uh, the meaning more or less for this number four word. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you got it. You. you got it. So num number five. Um, let me see. Alarming. Uh -huh. Alarming. Alarming. Okay. So Ramon, could you please help me reading the whole sentence? Okay. 
have you heard have you heard the alarming news about the the Brazilian <laughs> roads in Atlanta? Okay, so Brazilian riots. Riots. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Really nice. So alarming. Was it alarming? It was. Yes. So maybe the news it's what is causing us to feel like that. And that is alarming. And if the consequence is that we feel alarmed. Okay. Now let's move it a little bit faster. John and Kevin are very excited. Excited. About exactly. their wedding ceremony. This is a very well, common word. So, yes, I think it was pretty easy. Very excited. There you go. Now, the students didn't seem interest, interested. Interesting. Interested. No. Interested, interesting. What do you interested. think? No. I think interested. 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 Me too. Okay. Yes. So interested, yes. The students didn't seem, seem is more like a surface level. Like you see a person and then they don't seem interested. Yeah. But basically it's how the students are feeling also. So maybe the teacher explanation is kind of, I don't know, um, redundant or uh, slow. It's not that interesting and the students don't feel interested. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so in this case, it's interested with ED. Uh, if you uh, wrote ING, then it will be uh, interested. But really nice. Overall, uh, I can see that you are, um, got the, the majority of the answers. So that was really nice. Now, Number eight, touring around Tidy. Europe in Tidy. two weeks. Tidy. Must be Tidy. Very... Tidy. I think tired. Tired. No, tiring. Tiring. Okay, who Tidy. says tiring? Tiring. Tiring. Okay. Yes, tiring. So maybe we can feel tired about touring around Europe. We, we feel tired, but we are talking about the idea. The idea of touring around Europe, that is tiring. I have three rooms already. Three wrongs? <laughs> three mistakes. Three okay. mistakes. So, I mean, no worries. We all make mistakes or uh, we are learning. Yeah. So okay. the thing is that that you um, notice what is going on and uh, then you can correct in the future. In the future. So no worries. It's all good. Um, now, Betty was. Amused. 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 Okay. Amused. Amused. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the reaction of Betty. I yes. look at my face. Very much ED. Now the Prime Minister's outfit was very. What do you think? Pleasing. 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 Okay, I can I can hear some of your answers. Pleasing. Pleasing. See, to the eye, so it's my perspective. But we are talking about the prime minister's outfit. So that's what is making me feel maybe pleased. Yeah. But the prime minister's outfit, in this case, is the subject of the sentence and it's pleasing. Okay. Now, number 11, don't look so surprised. 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 Very good. Very good. Your project won because it was the best. Surprised. That's really nice. 
So John has a really annoying. 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 So the habit that John has, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. It makes know. it makes other people feel annoyed. But the habit, it's annoying. Okay. Yes. So number 13, we were too embarrassed. 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 Okay. embarrassed. embarrassed. There you go. Yeah. Embarrassed. So embarrassed. That's it. To ask them for a loan. What is a loan? Uh, Who can there you go. And would you feel embarrassed to to ask for a loan? Yes. Yes. Please yeah, right? lend me lend me one thousand dollars, please. <laughs> one thousand dollars. What do you need them for? <laughs> to travel, teacher, to travel. <laughs> Where to? To the US. Okay. Yeah, that would be really good. I don't, I haven't been to the US, but yeah. Good. Okay, so a loan, a prestamo. There you go. Thank you. Now, 14. Dave's parents are really alarmed. 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 By alarmed. persistent alarmed. misbehavior. Alarmed. alarmed. There you go. Very alarmed. Good. Alarmed. Alarmed. Yes. So, yes, uh, those were like the answers for this part, and we are about to finish. Now, George is so frustrated. Okay. So, this is pretty much giving us the answer. It's talking about how George feels frustrated. Now, 16, we were all? Students. Student. 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 All. Student. Student. Yes, pronunciation would be stunt. Stunt. By his student. There is student. Stunt. So, uh, number stunt. 17. I don't find his jokes very amusing. 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 They are amusing. rather cruel. Amusing or amused? I don't amusing. find his jokes very amusing. 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 Yes. So maybe I feel or I don't feel amused because their jokes are not funny. So I don't find their jokes a few amusing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Amusing. So we are almost finished. Now, number 18. I'm reading an exciting. 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 I am reading and exciting. Exciting. Okay. So I what am, am I reading? Exciting. What is the thing exciting. that I'm reading? Exciting. So, exciting. So, I'm reading starts exciting. You feel excited, but the book is exciting. Perfect. Yes. So maybe the adventure story Yes, that's what is exciting. And when I read it, I feel excited. So I'm reading an exciting adventure story. My moon. That would be the same for a book. Find finish. A book can be exciting. Can a book be excited? No. no. It doesn't have feelings. It doesn't have feelings. There you go. Moon. Now. Number 19, my, my mom finds fishing boring. 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 And she never boring. accompanies my dad. Boring. Good. Boring. Boring. Good. 
sorry. Now, uh, the last one. They are never satisfied. 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 They always grumble satisfied. about everything. So they are yes. satisfied. So this is also they important. Are... Notice how satisfied ends with the letter Y. But then when we add oh, yeah. it changes. It's... So it don't follows. Worry. The... It's the same as don't worry, no worries. There the you go. Y changes to E. Or worry. And worried in the past, so it's it follows the same uh, principle as in simple past. And regular Teacher, verbs. I'm Isabel Coming. Duenas. I have seven seven mistakes and twenty <laughs> sentences. <laughs> so I am I am not good. <laughs> Come on, don't say that. No, no, no. So, let basically you had like thirteen right and seven wrong. But don't say I, I, you. Seven mistakes. You can say I'm not sure. I need more exercise. That's it. Okay. You Thank you yes. for everybody. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is this is honest to God. You're really good. I was really surprised when I got this uh, group. You are really good at the at the language. You speak very nice. You are like uh, competent enough. And come on, don't say that. You are really good. Mistakes happen, and maybe sometimes, yeah, just as um, practice more. Elizabeth uh, said, "Yes, we need to practice," and that's my duty. So yeah, I'll take care of that. No worries. And yeah, so if you had mistakes, you can maybe correct them and carry your own knots. So that way and you, you can see. Time, and next the, time? And yes. the next time, be good. You're already good. You You'll just be better. Polish your, <laughs> your skills. Good. So now we're going to move. We're going to have another topic. Just let me take a look at the time. Okay, good. So let's talk about childhood memories. Okay. So do you remember some mischief you did as a child? Some what? Mischief. Mischief, what is the meaning of? Okay, no worries. So, mischief, it's like the equivalent of travesura, vagancia. Mm. Mischievous. Yes. Yeah, so mischievous is, is an adjective. It's describing the person who... It's the same meaning. Has this kind of, it's the same meaning, yes, but mischief in this case is like the action that you did. Okay. Yes. May I... So, yeah. It's uh, please think about it and come up with something. We're going I'm to, sorry. to write or to talk or to what? You can write it down, but yeah, we're gonna just discuss it. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to think about it. So it's 231. 233. I guess two minutes will be enough to to think about something. All right. I'm also going to write it in the WhatsApp group.
Yeah, so time has um passed. Time's up. I'm sorry. Uh, who can tell me something? Maybe. Uh, I'm finishing. Uh, Elizabeth, I need, that you? I, need, I need one minute more, please. Okay, that's fine. Good. Uh, so let's take one more minute. No worries. Okay. Should be many, only one, teacher. As many as you can, if possible. Okay. I'm done, teacher. Really nice. All right. Um, who else has finished? Me, Isabel. Good. I'm just double checking the attendance. I'm sorry. Nice. Okay. So, yes, uh, what can you tell us, Elizabeth? Um, I'm, I wrote my memory. Let me read it, please. Once, when I was a child, I stole a coin from one of my partners, and I put it in my socks. When we were on recess, we were playing tirantes, and my shoe went off. Then I ran to get back my shoe, and the coin was making noises while I was trying to put it on again. Fortunately, my partner didn't notice the noise in my in my socks. I could buy candies for my little brothers when I went home. All right. <laughs> so it's a real story, teacher. It's it's real. Oh my god. Yes. Uh, so I stole your, the coin, sorry. <laughs> so your parents didn't um didn't know? I mean didn't realize. Oh no, no, she never knew. She never knew. And I spent all the, the whole coin buying candies for my brothers. But um what worth was that coin? It was a uh, fifty cents. That one's that were made of copper and it was a lot of money when I was in first grade <laughs> yeah I mean that's a really good anecdote yes so really really nice you said who, um... we always we always <laughs> laugh when I say and I was trying not to make noise with the coin in my sock and jumping jumping <laughs> with the coin clawing 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 it's very funny. Yeah, I can see that. But yeah, you succeeded. You you bought you bought candies for all. All right. Okay, so that was really good. Uh thank you, Elizabeth. Um I didn't expect that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine, it's fine, it's just it's it's fun. So thank you. Uh 
Maria Isabel Duanas, you also said you finished, correct? Yes, I finished, teacher. Okay. Can I, uh, can I Yeah, please uh, share it with us. When I was kid, when I was, I was kid, I had for all the people around me, even for my mother, she took a lot of time to find me. And also, I was, I was very, I, I will never pay attention when people talk to me. I had serious problems with my behavior. I was so noisy and in established and established people. Okay. Did you understand me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 totally. So, um, I mean, what age were you, were you when that happened? Maybe, How old? Um, maybe six, seven years. Okay. That was Pitcher. a really... Pitcher. I was five when I stole that coin. Huh? I was a really small girl <laughs> yeah you were yeah very much a, a child wow yeah so basically it's like the the idea right so maybe an age where we were like i mean we had this kind of behaviors so yeah and how really do good. you say in english travesuras teacher how do you say in english it's it's kind of it might be the, the equivalent, I'm sorry, of mischief. Mischief? mischief. The same yes. word? There you go. The same word. Yes. Okay. So, thank you. You got it. So who else? I'm sorry. Um. Who else has finished and uh, wants to share? Silvia Mendoza. Rosa Maria Durazo. Leticia, Maria Elizabeth Parra. Who else? Okay. Yeah. Carmen Luz. Ramon. Present. Present teacher. Present, Present teacher. Eh. Okay. Who was that? Carmen Luz. Carmen Luz. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, um, can you share your your missive? Yes. Yes, teacher. Um, in high school. Um, I will make my skier longer when I when I enter school. Uh, when I left, I will raise my skier again because my mom allowed me to wear my my short skier, but at my school um, they didn't. Okay. Okay. So you said high school? Hoy la segunda de ocho hermanos. Secundaria. Um, yeah. Sí, secundaria, high school, that would be, yes. High school, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. So, of course, uh, it, I mean, it's something we might have done uh, at that age so that was a really interesting story thank you <laughs> so um, welcome to you. just one more i'm sorry to to continue who can share their their mischief or something they they used to do to do antonio power do you, have some? Of the teacher. you say who power of the teacher yeah right yeah. Okay. Hmm. So. Yeah, Maria Maria Elizabeth, could you please share with us? Mm. Para. Para Bernal. Yes, you. Um. With. I don't remember. Uh, begin. Nothing. I was very calm. I was probably 
afraid of doing something wrong. Okay. Yeah, I was very calm. <laughs> you were very calm. Sido otra vez. <laughs> que yo no, it's fine. Maybe you were raised with, uh, I mean, your, your parents were uh, kind of straight, or I don't know. But yes, yes, maybe we are afraid of consequences or, or what is going to happen if we behave in a bad manner, right? So I don't I don't blame you and, and it's it's fine that you are sincere and honest. No worries. I I was like that also. He is kind of afraid. But I also I do believe that we can do some mischiefs or mischief innocently. Mm -hmm. So I have some examples, okay? I have some examples okay. of things that were like kind of frequent that kind of were uh habit or common okay mm. okay so yeah mischief. mischief i used to bite the edge of the walls in my house you also you get the picture with that mm. so yeah I'm I'm really curious. I'm I'm honest to get curious. Uh did someone did some of you also do so or am I the only one? Why? Do you buy the walls in your house? All the time. Yeah, so so by the not all the time, but it was very common. Yes. Very um common. anyone else? Not really. Now I'm gonna no. feel like I'm gonna feel weird. <laughs> no? No. Oh my god. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I okay. think you were so this is a true story my, I used to do sister, so. My... so can you imagine the walls in my house yes I'm sorry Antonio uh, go ahead I, I couldn't hear you hello I loved good children <laughs> I don't know if it's my, my internet connection let me see Um, can you hear me Yes. Ah, I you think need you, you the minerals. Okay, good. Yeah. Maybe, right? I don't know, but, but yeah. She, it was like a craving. Sister, you, my sister it's used to be embarrassing. With her tongue <laughs> in the wall. With what? With her, her tongue. Adam, Adam, Adam. Okay, so she just licked the wall? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. But you yeah. didn't, but so... she only was leaking. Teacher, but you didn't have a problem? <laughs> I asked you. That's a nice question. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, I don't think so. I think it was just like lo hacía por por hacer. La verdad es que tiene un sabor curioso la pared. No les voy a mentir, pero pues ya tiempo pasado, ¿no? Pasado pisado. Es la cal. I'm kidding. Sí. Yeah, Una parte yeah. de calcio, ¿no? Minerales. Maybe, en realidad sí maybe. tiene minerales. Uh, la cal sí tiene. Mineral salado. Yeah, but. Yeah, so I used to do so, and I don't know, it's kind of funny. So maybe we have some other examples like this. My neighbor, Nacho, used to ring my bell and run away. Oh. Me too. Oh. We all I do that. that. Yes. I did do that. Yeah? Yes, me too. Me too. I did it too. 
and how does it feel right now uh, as an adult when when kids do that how do you feel i, I feel angry <laughs> yeah um, not angry also, why is just casa? yeah you are you are upset maybe you are all um <laughs> calm and relaxing and that happens no 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 so yeah if, if you you didn't get the picture yes yeah, basically like that and also this is a, a real story so that was my i mean the, the kid who lived uh, in front mm -hmm. of my house and of course we we saw him but yeah he used to do I, so i think many kids do that yes and it's usually it's, it's ham harmless you know you are not like I don't know. Um, you are not injuring anyone or something, so it's a harmless prank. But it gets it gets annoying. The more you grow up, I don't know. I think so. But yeah, my neighbor Nacho. So yes, we have another example. My cousin Jimena used to scribble on her house walls. What is a scribble? Oh. Um, yes mm. so maybe this is also harmless but as a parent you I mean you don't it's part of the, of the process of your child growing up but yes you, I the, think so too. No. in this not kids is, is often Mm -hmm. maybe you let yes. them do so and then you clean after what do you think or you wouldn't you, allow this but I don't know what but why better the kids if you put them a, a board to to scribble there they always go to the walls uh, yes uh, yes totally agree I don't know I don't know what happens but yes it's true um maybe it's the texture i don't know but yeah it's it's pretty common in, on the walls so yes. yeah. so you sometimes, get this right this these are i'm sorry antonio yes continue sometimes when the his kid uh, is and mm, he face time in the kindergarten then in the house walls are the blackboard Okay, yeah, so the, the the walls in the kindergarten are their their board or something? The 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 first time the kids in the in the kindergarten. Then oh yeah the house walls are the blackboard or the whiteboard. Yeah, of course you're you're right. So maybe they are they like are you know acostumbrados. They are used to to do so, but yes, I don't know. I have uh, some thoughts about it. Maybe you can let them do so, and then you clean after uh, in the best scenario possible. It, because if they, I don't know, uh, scribble with a permanent marker or something, then you are in problems. With a <laughs> but pen, okay. but, but scribbling too hard, yeah. and it's difficult to erase. Yeah, totally. But yeah, okay, so these are some examples of maybe some mischief. Yes. So yeah. good. Now, mm, 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 I'm sorry, Leticia Barberina, could you please help us helping this one, uh, reading this one? I'm sorry. Okay. My sister and I used to play in the mud. What is the mud? Lodo. 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 Yes. Uh, yes. When you are a kid, it's very often. Yes, me too. <laughs> and you yeah. don't worry. Probably your mom, but you are really happy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. Did you by any chance like make cakes out of mud? Yes. Yeah. Right. And I don't know how to say trastecitos, ollitas. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so to make ooh, cakes, oh, mood cakes, yes. we do our cakes. But the key is find, find fun to do these kind of things. Yeah, of course, you are, you are out, you, you find fun in everything, it's there. It's, it's the spirit of a kid. Yes. Very good. Thank you, uh, Leticia. So yeah, I, I, you might be already familiar with this structure, but yes. Uh, can you help me reading? Maria Isabel Duenas, please. Mm, the first one? The first yes, one? The first one, yes. When we want to talk about a past habit, something we no longer we no longer do. We use used to. Used to. I, yes, used to. There you go. Uh, Antonio, could you please read the example there? I used to choose three yes. uh, in Yeah, so I used to chase. That is an, an A. I'm sorry if it's if it looks like a no. Sorry, but the letter is uh, so small. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. No, it's it's my bad. Uh, yeah, so I, I used to chase pigeons in Plaza Tapatia. Yeah, Plaza so... De Armas. Plaza de Armas, yeah. Frente oh, a... Man. Frente a... ¿Cómo se llama este lugar? Catedral y... Palacio, Palacio de Gobierno, is it? Yes. I don't know. Yes. yes. There are a lot of pigeons there, right? Yes. And what do you think about chasing pigeons? Is it, is it harmful, harmless? The, the pool, it's harmless. It's harm for the buildings. Yes. For the buildings? What yes, they're covered with, with a kind of, uh, how do you say, Maya? The alambre for, mm -hmm. to protect from against the pigeons. Oh my god, I didn't know that. But, yes. So they don't want them in the building, and they. They, they don't want to to pull on the buildings. Okay. Well, I mean, it's. Yeah, I don't know. I have mixed sounds about that, but yeah, okay. But the fact that you you chase a pigeon, it's not harmful, you know. It's so it's kind no. of innocent. No, Good. Yes. Um. Now, so Paola used to play with a slingshot. Mm -hmm. That might be harmful yes. for animals or for. For the birds. There are new. There are people. new words for the, for me. That's a new word for you. Yes, a slime hat and the other one. Which one? Shot. Shot. Yes, yeah, so shot. this one is it's like a slingshot. It's like a sortera. There you go. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, my friends used to light fireworks. Yes, palomitas. Did you used to to do so? To yes, they are very dangerous for kids. Yes. Dangerous and for everybody. <clears throat> for everybody. For dogs, right, and some other pets. Yeah, they, oh, they, for, for pets. They get upset about fireworks. Yeah. They feel really upset when they hear the fireworks. Yes. But do you like them or? I like them. Okay, okay. Imagine, imagine this is a September without without fireworks. Oh, that's not a this is a September. Yeah, right. Some they, celebrations are. Like, or maybe not here in Mexico, but Fourth of July, it's pretty yeah, common. Yes. New Year's Eve. And the Olympic Olympics games were the same with a lot of lights. There you go. So now they are like a part of our um, celebrations. 
Yes. But yeah, yes. it's it's debatable. I don't know. I as an as an owner of dogs, yeah, sometimes I I don't like them that much. But yeah, of course they are like they are like fun. I get it. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry. So we're gonna continue, and then notice how we can talk about different people. For example, my friends, Paola, mm -hmm. I. Good. Yes. But the green part is always what? Used to. Used to. Very good. So basically it's any kind of subject. Are you, he, she, we, they? A name, a subject. And then we add used to. And finally a past habit, in this case a mischief, for example. This is the complement, past habit. I used to play basketball. There you go. I used to play basketball. That's a really good example. And let me see. What's next? Okay. So, yeah. Now rewrite your mischief. Okay. I and... used to stole, I used to stole money, teacher. <laughs> Well, yes, okay, <laughs> that works for your example. <laughs> but you don't do it anymore, right? No, not anymore. All right. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna ask you. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Elizabeth. Thank you. Yes. Um, please write please down your mischief now using used to. Okay. I want all of you to do it uh, right now, and that will be for the WhatsApp group class. No, only travesuras. For now, yes. Okay, we can we can write everything we we do. We did in the childhood. You, you used to do or you did? Yes. And how many examples, teacher? For now, um, let's. I'm sorry, I was checking. Let's uh, do three for now, okay? So I'm gonna write also in the WhatsApp group. Teacher, I said same for you. Uh, the 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 right for me, Miss Miss Mitchell, Miss Chef. Chef. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, o sea, se lo vamos a mandar a usted. No. Grupo? In this case, on the WhatsApp group, el grupo sí, please. Okay. I have, I have three sentences. You already have them. Three of them, yes. Okay, good. So we're gonna uh, wait just a little bit yes. uh, for everyone to finish. But that's really good, Elizabeth. Thank you. Finish. Antonio, right? You finished? Yeah. Good. So we're gonna wait as well. But thank you for letting me know.
So, yes, I'm sorry. Just remember to write it down right in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Can you give me two, please? How do you say garrafones in English? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe bottles? Bottles? Could be, right? Carboy. Carboy? Garrafon? Carboy. Yeah, it's what the translator... Uh... Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, wow. So it's like... Be done, right? Carboy. Hmm. Okay, so I can see that some of you already sent. Oh, wait. I didn't understand that it wasn't in the chat. Yeah, I'm sorry. And I'm finishing at number three. Mm -hmm. I just write down, I can send it to you because I have to take a picture in too many things, <laughs> but I, I don't know what. I just write down in my notebook. Next, next book. Your notebook. Okay, good. If you, if you can, you, you can send me a picture. Who wrote, when I was a children, I used to cook in the bed of my mom. I want to see Ready. Play on the rain is this okay? <laughs> I used to call my phone and hang up. That's a really good one. So yeah, I'm sorry. Just make sure you write it in the WhatsApp group. Either you can you can write a, a message or send a picture if that's better for you. More later, teacher. Yes, sorry. More later, more later, or now. The the idea will be now. If you need to take a picture and it will and take time, you can send it later, but not. I mean, by the end of of the class, the tops, yeah, the the latest. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, we are still going to have a break in this case. Yeah, but you can let me know if it works better, a five minutes break, or a ten minutes break. Okay. Whatever you want. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's really nice. I think we can have a 10 minutes break. Okay. So we're okay. we're having it at 310. Okay. okay.
Um, okay. It's 309. At 310, we are coming back. One minute. No, we are, the, the break is going to start. Yes. At 310. Three, okay. 310, but it's 309. See you in a moment. Yeah, so 310, it start, the break starts, and then we come back at 320. Okay. Thank ah, okay. Thank you. You got it. And then we're going to dive into uh, homework. And I hope I can tell you about the project, because I don't know if you remember, we have a project. I didn't remember that. Okay, no worries. Uh, yeah, so it's thread 310, I'm sorry, already. So break starts. We'll see you at 320. 20. Bye. Thank you. You got it.
Okay, I'm sorry. Just to uh, um, make a good use of the time we still have. So we're going to continue. I hope you all are here. So then we start. We are ready. Thank you. So yeah, basically used to is to talk about past habits. Um, we also have like this picture. Uh, Silvia Mendoza, are you here? Silvia Mendoza? Okay. Um, otherwise, Rosa Maria Durazo, are you here? Yes, teacher, I hear. Good. Could you please have me reading this example? Okay. Uh, when I was years old, used to live no. kinder. Hmm? Used, used. Used, mm. used to live kinder, garden, draw a dry, drain, pipe, and go home. Uh, so those are your examples, right? Okay, it is it is it's one, it's some. Did you send them in WhatsApp? Uh, what? 
Yes, the WhatsApp group. Group. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, um, for the last activity, it was about writing three examples using used to, and then write it in the WhatsApp group. Did you do it? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, no worries. You can do it right now, okay? Okay. Yeah, so three examples, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, Armando Arevalo, okay, I can... I can see, okay. So now, Yes, I'm going to read this one. So, I used to play soccer. Now, I don't. Okay. So, it's the same idea, right? Um, maybe when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. But now, uh -huh. I don't. Now. So, we used to go out every Friday, but we broke up. Okay, so this is not about mischiefs anymore because the overall use of used to is about past habits, okay? Okay. So maybe I had a, a, a girlfriend or um, a, a partner, let's say, and then we used to go out every Friday, but not anymore. Why? Because we broke up. Of course, I get married. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what? What was that? <laughs> oh, cause I get married. Oh, you got married, but you still go out, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So maybe you are not, I mean, you are then now married, but you can, you can still go out with your, your wife. I mean, that would be really sweet. So yes. Yeah. Uh, his do you wife, don't, his uh, wife don't let it be. You think so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to close the door uh, really quick. I'm sorry. Hopefully you didn't listen, you didn't hear my, my dog barking. If you did, I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah. Okay, so I don't know. It, it happens sometimes you get married and then, well, you got to take care of, of the house or maybe you you get too comfortable and then you don't go out as often as you do, as you did, I'm sorry, when you were young, maybe, could be. I'm not talking, I'm not pointing out uh, people, I'm just, just saying, you know? So yeah, and for example, this one really hits like when you uh, barely, or when you just broke up with someone, you start remembering what you used to do and, and stuff, yeah, so. I don't know. Uh, I try to change the slide. Okay, yeah. Now, I didn't used to leave my house as a child. Your mom didn't let you. Kinda, yes. My father. <laughs> okay. No, it, it's it's not like that. But yeah, they were kind of too protective sometimes. Could be, I don't know. It's only an example. Yeah, it's one <laughs> example. So it's pretty obvious, but I might ask, uh, what is different here? It's a, it's a negation. There you go. So can we talk about some things we didn't do? Mm. We use the actual RD because it's past. Yeah, totally. 
So back then, when I was a kid, I didn't used to leave my house. Maybe now I, I leave my house. I know. Now, now you are you are not used to leave your house. Okay, teacher, this this sentence is right. I used to hide myself for other people when I was a kid, but I didn't do anymore. Okay, is is that one of your examples? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. We're gonna go back there. Um, maybe you can send me a message and then I can give you some orientation. All right, yeah. But... This sentence is right to say it like this. I, I used to hide myself for other people when I, when I was a kid, but I didn't do anymore. You, you can just change, but I don't do it anymore. We have to say no dining. The first part is okay. The second part, you need to change it for I don't do it anymore because we're talking ah, about now. We have about... to say don't, no dining. Don't, okay. yes. Okay, thank you. Of course. Yeah, I'm sorry. So this one. Now, Laura never used to wear boots. She loves them now. Mm -hmm. So again, the idea is something in the past was. You didn't do. Uh, in a way, and now it's not like that. Uh, so the idea of using used to, it always involves a change. Yes. Okay. Good. So. Now, Guadalajara didn't used to be uh -huh. so crowded as it is now. Do you agree? Yes. 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 We agree. Yeah. My parents, um, well, they they told me that well, uh, I used to be like Rancho Grande. Pues no, um, no rancho, pero yes, too similar to a, to a rancho, to a pueblo. And to then, a little town. Little town, little yes. But now that changed, changed, I'm sorry. And then Guadalajara is kind of bigger. It has more population. So yes. More people. There you go. So now we are using, again, uh, a negative sentence, a negative form okay. of the used to. So basically the same idea. Okay. But then we we include didn't. But the past habit we have to 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 express in present. Is it present? Yes. When we put, I used to hide something, and then we have to use the past habit in present all the time. Okay, so, so, yes, so in theory, it's not present. I, I don't want to get into that kind infinitive, of detail. Infinitive. It's similar to infinitive. It's called, it's called, I'm sorry, base form. Base form. Because mm -hmm. the idea of infinitive is that you again use to before the verb. But so, uh, in the, in the uh, paragraph, this use to to is for the verb in infinitive, more mm -hmm. or less. It's, teacher, it's because you have here, it's a past habit and you are using used to. And when we write the sentence, we use it in past. I used to play. I used to steal money. I used to whatever. Past, past habit is uh, one activity in the past. Do you do you do uh, something in when you are young? Yes, but it says used to. Yes, used to is like present. In the past, it would it needs to be used to. Okay, 
So I'm I'm writing down some examples in WhatsApp. Maybe you can take a look at them. Yes, but you have the the ending ed, and in the in the what you have in the in the I don't know how to say in the positiva that you are presenting it says use to in the green color it doesn't have a d at the end okay perfect you are you're making a very important point so i'm gonna go back for example this one i didn't use yes, you, but in this case you are using an auxilia that is did there you go and you need to use the base form but in the other in the other one that you have it says i used to look i used to you have a d at the end can you see it yes totally so and in the other one you have only use the one that what is in green color yes yes so yes. for example just as Elizabeth mentioned, of course, we have I used that ends with yes. ED. That means to past. play soccer. That means something in the past. Yes. Exactly. Now, when we talk about the past, if we are talking about something negative, we include an auxiliar. Auxiliar in this case, it's didn't or did not, which is this one. Now, Having this no, auxiliary, but put, put the other one remove... that was that had the green word. You mean this one, right? This one, <clears throat> it says only use to that means present, but the auxiliary is in, in past tense, in Did, past, didn't. Yeah. Because you are using, didn't it use to. Okay. The auxiliary is in past tense. You cannot use, I used to play? Uh, yes, it's in present. Because okay. only it, this activity you, you do in this, in this. Uh, okay. Also, right you now. can, my, my question is, you can use, use to and use to. In past yes. and in present. You both. can use in both ways. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna I'm gonna write something in the chat. Could you please take a look? So I used to play chess. Okay. Yes. Is that correct? It's in present. You play chess right now? Yes. Okay, what do you think? Um, I think it's correct. Yes, I, I, it's I think It's something you so. do in the present. Yes, maybe it's uh, one activity you do uh, usually probably every week. You, you, yes, probably you should write, I usually play chess. Usually, you said, yeah, usually. There you go. So I'm going to go back a few slides. Okay. Because it says something pretty relevant for this class. So when we talk about a past habit, something we no longer do, yes. then we use yes. used to. So yes, that is the main structure. And if we want to talk about something that we still do, then there is no need to, to use used to. Okay. Be because the idea of using used to, I already said it, it's there has been a change. Okay. Something we no longer do. So if I say, if I want to say that by the time, I mean, currently in the present, I play chess, I mm -hmm. can't and it's not correct to use, I use to play chess. Okay. Yeah. But since we are saying. And you say, if you say, teacher, I am used to play chess, is that correct? That's another topic, actually, but yes, that's correct. Okay. 
So we can say, I am used to play chess. Just like that, correct? Yes. I am yes. used to play chess. That's correct. But guess okay. what? That's a different topic. But okay. you, you, are, you are correct. Yes. So the idea of saying I am used to something, mm -hmm. it's basically estoy acostumbrado. Yes. Yeah. So I am used, and this is this is and something real. I'm, I'm really sorry, but this is something real. I'm used to wake up late. Oh, very yeah. good. <laughs> no, no, no. That that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That gets you into into a lot of trouble. So yes, I'm used to 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 wake up late and also I'm used to go to bed really late. So no. There you go. Not. Yeah. So now we are using didn't and didn't it's already in past. Okay. So it would be so redundant to, to say didn't used with a D by the end. So and it's we are didn't writing used to. Or we can also use never instead of didn't. Oh. But guess what? No. I never used to. Yes. But and still we, you and have we, the past form. And and then we keep the D, yes. Because we are not in we are not involving the part the particle, the negative particle. Okay. If we involve didn't, we need, we need to change it for use with a, without the D. Okay. But if we use never, that doesn't mean it's negative. We are only using Dealer. something about the frequency. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes. Here's one. Here's the example. Laura never used to wear boots, but now she loves them. Okay. So we're gonna move on. Okay. So this is basically the idea. Or we use never instead. And finally. Yeah, another topic could be addictions. So I'm going to say something. This like is drugs? a sensitive topic. <laughs> it could be drugs, yes. But I know this is a sensitive topic. I'm totally aware of that. However, it's one of the possible uses of the structure used to. So maybe we can say, Kim used to smoke. She gave up a few months ago. It's not anymore. Not anymore, yes. So, I do. my uncle used to drink a lot. Now, he's in rehab. Only for today. What, what do they say? I didn't. Which the one? AA say the, AA, the group AA says, this is only for today. One day at, at a time. Uh, what do you mean? I'm sorry. I kind of got lost. In the group of, of Alcoholicos Anonymous, they say, un día a la vez, one day at a time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm not aware of, of the the practices. So you don't drink. <laughs> so you don't drink. <laughs> I yeah, let's say I don't drink. Only water. Only water. We can say we can say also my uncle used drinking a lot. What do you think? Uh, and this is for I, all of you. What do you think? Is it possible to say I used drinking? For me. It's because it's ING is a how do you say it? It's um it's something that you are doing at the moment. Okay. It's a person continuous. Okay. And you are using past. Used to is past. And drinking is continuous. Present continuous is not possible. Even we have the, the word to. It's not. The, the word to is not alone. It's with used to. It's not a separate word. It's two words in one word. Yeah, and so I just send it. 
And when, and when we talk uh, activity, we can say, my uncle used to play him a lot. No. No. <laughs> okay, so for today's topic, it's not possible. You can't okay. use used to and then something that ends, that ends, I'm sorry, with ing. You have to use the, the verb in infinitive all the time. Uh, yes. In base form, in this case. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Are these specific grammatical forms? Oh, I'm sorry? That is a uh, grammatical forms of the, the exercise today. Oh, yes. Yes. So it's used to and then don't mix guess, it in again, don't mix it in anymore. Yeah, so basically I'm just sending it uh, for the WhatsApp group. So that's it. Subject, then used to, and then verb in base form. Okay. So for example, the subject okay. here is my uncle. Then used to we include used to that never changes for today and then the verb in the vase form drink and a complement for example a lot drink a lot the idea of including that word a lot i mean that that little mm -hmm. phrase by the end it's like giving us the idea of how often or how much does my uncle drinks right so yeah um yeah so that's it let me see what time is it? Oh, um, you, yes why why you don't say it but now uh, well yeah. in the in the sentences you say by but now Pero ahora, has, uh -huh, but now Pero ahora ella ya no toma, ella no toma. exactly okay but now he's in, in rabbit Yes, so he's in rehab. Oh, by, oh, by, oh, by now, he isn't uh, drinking. You can say, but now or now, he isn't, he isn't drinking. He isn't drinking anymore, for example. Mm -hmm. That that could work, yes. But the idea is in when when you mention now, then you're talking about the present and we can't still talk about the past do you agree so for example this one laura never used to wear boots that's about the past but then she loves them now okay so it's a contrast now we're having the idea of the present and that's in present by a redundancia right but you can say, but now she loves them. There you go. Yes, you can say that totally. Now, uh, I guess it's it's perfect time for practice. So yes, make a sentence using used to and a suitable verb. Okay. So I will choose who participates, but in this case, who is going to say it out loud? Okay, you all are going to participate, so you have to be prepared, but I'm going to choose you. So, yeah, here we go. So, please just create your own sentence, but don't say anything until I mention your name, okay? Ready. Good. Perfect. In affirmative or negative, whatever. Yes, the affirmative in this case. You are choosing who is the one who is going to be to read. Yeah, I'm just giving you a, a few seconds. 
to create your sentence, but then I'm going to choose. I finished, teacher. Good. Finish. So you can see Leticia. Um, Rosario. Um, Rosario, thank you. So, Irma Garcia Rodriguez, are you here? Yes, right? Yes, teacher. Good. Did you finish? No. <laughs> Five minutes, please. Okay. Uh, let's see then. Leticia Barberena, you said you finished, right? Yes. Okay. Could you please... Do me a favor and share your answer. Sofia used to play ball, volleyball, but now she didn't. That's she doesn't. Expressing. Yeah. Okay. Good. The first part is perfect. What is it with the second part? Uh, could you Expressing. repeat that? But now she doesn't. She doesn't. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's it's really good. You just need to change that and it's all set. That was really good, Leticia. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Maria del Rosario Gallegos? Yes, me teacher. Okay, good. So we're gonna change this one. And you are next. But I'm going to give you time, of course. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you got it. I can eat, teacher. Uh, yes, could you please? Uh, Olivia, Olivia didn't didn't uh, Olivia didn't used to travel. By Olivia didn't used to travel. By now she does. Okay, really okay. good. And uh, the children so, used. But, but now she does, right? May I, teacher? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I have, I have a bad connection, but you, go ahead, Elizabeth. Olivia used to pilot a plane. Now she's retired. So to pilot? Yes. Plane. Good. I, I like that one. I like both. Good. But now she's retired. Okay. Um. Next one. We're going to move. Okay. So yeah, just create your own example and then I'm gonna choose. It's junk food. Uh, this uh -huh. for this example, it's the healthy opposite. Food. Yes, but the opposite is junk oh, food. Junk food, fast food. Yes. Okay. And I finished, teacher. Good. Maria Isabel Dueñas. Perfect. Ne, uh, uh, um, did you all finish? 
Yes. Okay, good. So let's have uh, first Maria Isabel Dueñas and then Ramon. Mateo didn't used to have a healthy food, but now he has it. No. Okay, could you repeat that, please, Mateo? Mateo used to, used to eat healthy food by now. He doesn't. Okay, so Mateo didn't used to, what was that? Uh, Maria Isabel Duenas, please. Yes, Mateo didn't used to have a healthy food, but now he has it. Okay, so yeah, since we're talking about healthy food, we can't say a healthy food. Okay. Yes. We're talking about and a healthy. I think it would be better. I think it would be better if we change have for eat. That I think Leticia says say so, know. right? Or what? Mateo used to eat healthy food. By now, he do he doesn't. Yes. Okay, that's it's another example. For example. It's better to say it doesn't, but um, instant hasn't, instant hasn't. It's not hasn't, there are no hasn't. Okay, please let me know if you can see my, my message here, okay? Okay. For well, example, that, that could be an example. That could be an example. Mat Mateo didn't use he to used eat healthy to... food. And now he does. But now he, he, does. he does. So it's the contrast. He didn't okay. before, now he does. Or on the contrary, Mateo used, used to, eat, to, eat. to eat healthy food. By now, he doesn't. I don't, he does Perfect, yes. Mateo used to eat healthy food, but now he doesn't. Perfect. Oh, okay. So yes, maybe you can incorporate or um, take a look to these examples so that you can change them. Can and you could... repeat again the example in yeah. the screen? Yes, I can, I can do so. So the, the first one is Mateo. Didn't uh -huh. didn't used to eat to eat, uh -huh. eat yes healthy food is not a healthy food yeah you you remove the a okay but healthy now but now, but now he, he does he does okay yes. and the second one it's the opposite uh -huh. Mateo used to eat healthy food so in the past. He was he was uh, healthy, let's say. Mateo used to eat healthy food, but now uh -huh. he doesn't. Yes. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, teacher, thank you. You got it. I think we have one final example, but let me see the clock. Four minutes. Okay. For Olivia. Olivia, we did it. Oh, yes. And uh, I'm sorry, Ramon, do you have your example about this one? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, Mateo didn't use to, help to eat el healthy food. Since then, he eats uh, fat food. Ooh, since then. Really mm -hmm. nice. Really nice. Uh, fast food, you say? Fast food, yes. Good, good. So what does Mateo have? Oh, what kind Mate, of fast Mate, food? Um, <laughs> pizza and hamburger and hot dog. Uh, fries. Pizza. Ya me dio hambre, eh? Me too. 
I mean, it's, it's tasty, it's good, but yeah, you you need to to yeah to know your limits to be healthy. Good. So the final one. I'm sorry. So please create your own. Jessica. And I think we're gonna go with Antonio. You go first. But take your time so that you can write your example or create. Yes. Antonio and then Carmen Luz. Wait a minute. Yeah, no worries. When Jessica was young, she didn't practice yoga. And right now, she does. Okay. So, how can you include used to in this example? Okay. Teacher, me, well, Carmen Luz. I'm sorry. Well, uh, yes, I'm really sorry. So, we're going to continue a little bit with Antonio and then you go after Carmen Luz. Okay. okay. That... Thank you. Good. Thank you. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, Antonio. So, how would you include used to in your example? Uh, yeah. When Jessica was a teenager, he didn't use to do yoga. And right now, she does. Right now, she does. Very good. Yes. So it could be do yoga or practice yoga. Okay. Practice, practice yoga. Okay. okay. But they, they were really good. And there you go. Carmen Luz, uh, Carmen Luz please. Okay. Jessica didn't use to practice yoga, but now she does. Perfect. Oh, thank you. It, it was really great. Good. So, Maria Isabel, good. Go ahead. Maria Isabel Duño. I think Maria Elizabeth Parra Bernal, you are raising your hand. You can. You can See. Talk. Yeah, I'm sorry. No. Yes. No, you can. You can. Jessica used to practice yoga. Now she doesn't do it. At often anymore okay so the first part is jessica used to practice yoga now she doesn't do it as often anymore now she doesn't do it as often okay yeah it's good it works uh by by first i thought that it was kind of long by the end but it's good you're adding details okay Good. Thank you, Maria Elizabeth. Thank you. So I think we are right on time to finish the class. But I'm okay. going to leave you. I'm going to uh, assign homework. Okay? Como it's homework. Ver. Yes. It's related to Antes, this. A ver. So I'm going to send Fernando, it right now. Esta manita, como veo que ya la quité. La había puesto, pero no sé si está puesto o quitada. Esa está puesta. I think, I think ver, I, can, I can... ¿Cómo la quito? Just like that. ¿Cómo se ve okay. que se quita? Yeah. Teacher? Creo, creo que ya quedó, María. You, you said something yeah. about the project. Yo en la cama, yo estaba en la cama. ¿Mandé? Yeah, yeah so that, that we were going to, to have information about the project. Okay. I said so. Ay, send, but... send me the chat, please. Yes. So, due to the time, I'm going to give you, I'm going to explain homework and then i can send you a message okay about the project okay okay it's not gonna be that difficult that challenging but just for you to know the guidelines all right okay okay so i think you let me see you are not seeing my screen anymore right okay thank you good Oh my God, just for you to, to already go. Here it is. So this is your homework. We are going to see in the chat. Well, I'm gonna send you the activity in WhatsApp. Uh -huh. 
Are you going to send uh, the WhatsApp? Yeah, in WhatsApp. I'm going to send you this uh, file, this PDF file. Okay. And I only expect it uh, that you can send it at least, well, I'm not uh, at least, uh, the latest, I'm sorry, the okay. next week. Okay. That's it. Yes. Teacher, uh, you can put the email, your email. Email. I can give you, you my email address. Yes. But this form I send you uh, in privacy, no? But we can see we can see this homework in on TV tomorrow. I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, see this homework. Uh, I go for TV by view. Uh, for video. Mm -hmm. We can see this homework for TV. Okay. okay so yeah, they they record the session, and you're gonna see by the end this part. Uh huh. Yeah. Only, no worries. Only if, okay. he, if she have the YouTube in your TV. Yes, but I'm going to send you the file and you can then answer it. You can do it either in homework, in your not to compare, or yes, you can you can okay. do it in the file. It's possible. So, yes, I just uh, sent it, I think. Let me see. When sound, when swam, send the the class uh, record, the record class uh, is, is possible to watch in TV because the the watch the TV is have YouTube and the, the, the video is uh, transmit in YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's already in the chat picture. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I just sent the file. You can take a look. There are a few exercises. There are not that many, but I think it's it's fair uh, for the next week. If you have any any problems by doing the, the homework, you can send me a message. Don't, no worries. Don't do it. <laughs> Teacher, please put your email. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. What's up? Oh, I sent for you WhatsApp. Is possible? It's possible. No worries. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me. You know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. So you, teacher. we are five minutes past already. So I'm sorry, four minutes. So yeah, let's uh, stop right now. I hope you have a good afternoon today, and well, take care. We'll see you next week. Thank you, teacher. And, you, and, I'll, and I'll explain you about the project. And the okay. exam, I think, is going to be the last session. Oh. Have a nice day. Okay, Thank you. teacher. Bye bye. Have a Take care. nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank weekend. Everybody. Same goes for you. See you next class. Thank you. See you Thank you so much. You me. Bye bye. Soy Silvia Mendoza, maestro. Una disculpa, tuve problemas con la línea, el internet y un show, pero voy a practicar los ejercicios y voy a a ver el video en la repetición de la clase. Ok, sí, perfecto. No pasa nada. Eh, bueno, yo sí, ahí tuve la, la pues, consideración de, de ver que sí estabas conectado y sí, este, ya lo tengo pues, contemplado. No te preocupes. Sí, ¿sabe qué? Es que tengo problemas con el celular. Es un show, la tecnología todavía no se me da y como no está ninguno de los hijos, pues no me pueden apoyar. Pero estuve toda la clase y voy a revisar las tareas y todo para la siguiente semana. Ok, bien. Sí, como tal, tareas en forma, llevaríamos apenas dos, que son, bueno, la, la que vimos al inicio de la clase y esta uh -huh. que estoy dejando hoy. Y pues sí. va un poquito de la mano con el proyecto porque pues se recopilan las tareas, es todo. Ajá, sí, para la siguiente ya le tengo las dos y este, los va a mandar por WhatsApp. La ya tarea. Está en el grupo. Sí, ya ah, ok. Ok, maestro. Entonces, para la siguiente le prometo que ya estoy al corriente. Muy bien. Pues, Thank you very claro. much. Bye. Gracias. Bye. Gracias. Yo creo que ya voy a detener la, la grabación. Bueno, se sigue grabando. Sí, gracias.